A Head is a Terrible Thing to Waste, Chapter 1, by me. Here is going to be 10 interesting factoids from the book of Chapter 1. The human head is of the same approximate size and weight as a roaster chicken. The heads are put in roasting pans after they are severed so they can catch the drippings. Lavender colored plastic cloths are used in the room to create a soothing feeling. When the surgeons say that it is a fresh severed head, that means it is unembalmed. Embalming hardens the tissues, making the structures less pliable and the surgery experience less reflective of an actual operation. Physicians and anatomy students must learn to think of cadavers as wholly unrelated to the people they once were, so that, therefore, they get less freaked out by the whole experience. After a few days, the heads must be injected with saline, so they stay fresh. It is noted that the heads aren't cut off out of ghoulishness. They are cut off so that someone else can make use of the other pieces of the body, such as the arms, legs, and the organs. Some cosmetic surgeons use the cadaver's noses to practice nose jobs before performing it on an actual patient. The blob is known among plastic surgeons as the malar fat pad. Malar means relating to the cheek.